57 For man thou seekst not for thyself alone. At first, out of the busy hum of mind, a stark, hushed emptiness became herself, her mind unvisited by the voice of thought stared at a void deep's dumb infinity. Her heights receded, her depths behind her closed. All fled away from her and left her blank. But when she came back to herself of thought, once more she was a human thing on earth. Amazed, like one unknowing, she sought her way out of the tangle of man's ignorant past that took the surface person for the soul. Then a voice spoke that dwelt on secret heights. For man thou seekst, not for thyself alone. Only if God assumes the human mind and puts on mortal ignorance for his cloak and makes himself the dwarf with triple stride, can he help man to grow into the God. As man disguised, the cosmic greatness works and finds the mystic inaccessible gate and opens the immortal's golden door. Man human follows in God's human steps. Accepting his darkness Thou must bring to him light, accepting his sorrow. Thou must bring to him bliss. In matter's body, find thy heaven-born soul. Then Savitri surged out of her body's wall and stood a little span outside herself and looked into her subtle being's depths. And in its heart, as in a lotus bud, divined her secret and mysterious soul. At the dim portal of the inner life, that bars out from our depths the body's mind and all that lives but by the body's breath she knocked and pressed against the ebony gate the living portal groaned with sullen hinge heavily reluctant it complained inert against the tyranny of the spirit's touch <laughs> 